In this video I want to show you how to use the CD Label Print software. So when you have installed it and you open it up, it will start always with this screen here and you can click Open to open an existing project or simply click New to start uh, a new uh, project or a new printing job. So here we are with our, our blank cover. Now let's add some text in here press OK. You can see the text is here in the middle. You can then click and drag the text where you want it to be. You can change the, um, the font here from any font on your computer. You can change the size. You can make it bold. You can align it uh, right, left and center. That's more relevant when you have many lines of text. You can change the, um, the color. Uh, and um, yeah, so that that's the features you can do with text. There's another fancy option here where you can spin the text around if you want, and uh, you can even drag it and change it to work like this. It's a bit more tricky to do, and I use that red dot to to change it around. Now notice here actually that the text begins to be cut off here, so we have to make it larger to fit in all the text. So that's how the, the text function works. Now uh, let's add in a background. Oh, I'll do one more thing on the text first. When you double click on the text you get the options coming up. You can change the color. You can uh, choose to have a pattern for the text, so the text will then follow like the zigzag pattern here. You can choose to add a shadow to the text and choose which side the shadow should be. You can choose to add a border to the text. That's very useful uh, if there's a picture behind the text and it's a bit hard to read the text and add a, add a border around the text then that makes it easier to, to see. So if you're text is in white color then a black border is good or if your text is in black color a white border could do do well so that's the text options now let's have a look at adding a background so it it has some backgrounds here by default you can click on fill, file and here you can select pictures from any of your the folders in your computer click browse and change the folder as you like and uh, once you decide on the picture, you click OK, and that becomes then the background. Now, if the background is not quite in the right spot, click on the background trim, and you can then move move around where it appears. You can also make the the circle a bit smaller, so that will enable you to zoom in a bit, or you can make it bigger. Now let's work a bit more on the background here. Um, you can select pictures from, you could, or you can select a grad, graduation. What that is, is um, several colors merging. So, uh, for example, we could go for dark blue to light blue. We can select uh, how it is going to work here and the direction of it. You can choose to have more colors or less colors you can choose to repeat repeat it many times or you can simply choose just a monochrome color so just a, a full fledged color like that but perhaps the, the gradation looks really nice so you can use that now let's add in a picture so you can choose pictures from those that are already here or you can go to File and select Pictures from your computer. Let's add this picture here. You can select to crop it. That means to cut off the, the edges of the picture. So here's the picture. It's a bit big. So let's make it smaller. 
is still a bit too big for us. Let's make it even smaller. Now it doesn't matter really if the picture goes over the edges. It simply then will will just print where the edge is. It won't print beyond the edge. So uh, this is the, the, the basics of it. And uh, when you are ready to print, uh, just click print and uh, choose either light or dark. So light will save ink, but doesn't look quite as good as dark. And choose if you want to print many copies or just one. So this is a little video guide for you of how to use the CD label print software. And finally, remember to save your projects on your computer. And when you have saved it, you can then open it up later on and look at another, look at your um, existing saved files. So uh, here is one of our saved files. So I hope this helps.